Welcome to our introduction on how to create a web application using Core PHP. In this course, you will learn the basics of PHP from rendering Hello World to creating a working web application that allows you to create a simple membership system. So before we go right into this course, we want you to know that this course is dedicated to all beginners out there that wanted to learn how to use PHP but don't really have much idea how to use it. Also, we assume that you have knowledge of HTML and CSS. So without further ado, let's start by understanding what is PHP. PHP, a recursive acronym for PHP Hypertext Preprocessor, is a server-side scripting language used to create mostly dynamic web applications. There are hundreds if not thousands of websites out there built using PHP, but most of them, most of the websites could be created using frameworks like Laravel. So you might have heard of that framework or maybe that framework is the reason why you want to learn PHP. But... Is core PHP really worth learning if I can just learn Laravel right from the start? Well, the answer is definitely yes. In fact, learning core PHP will help you a lot, especially when learning PHP frameworks. Not only that, but core PHP do not require you to install libraries unlike Laravel. So it's very important to know and learn the core PHP and just create a web application from scratch without relying on libraries. And the great thing about learning core PHP is that you will have a full control over your scripts or codes. So before we can start writing PHP codes, we need to set up our environment or our system. Now, there are two ways to set up your system. Number one is by installing PHP, Apache, and configuring your system environment yourself. Number two is by using web server platform like WAMP, LAMP, or XAMPP. And since the point of this course is to teach you the basics of PHP programming, then we'll just stick with using web server platform because configuring Apache and PHP could be very difficult, especially for a beginner. So let's go over to Google and search SAMPP. And then we'll just navigate to the first result. And then right over here, you can select if you have if you're using Windows, click this button. If you're using Linux, select this one. If you're using Mac, then you can select the third option. And since I'm using Windows, I'll select the first option. This will download Sam and just wait for it to finish. And after it's downloaded, you can just install it to your computer. After you're done installing your SAM, then you should have the following window. Now, the next thing that we need to do is to enable these modules in our system. So if you're, if you're seeing an X right over here, just click it and it will install your module. So since I have it already, as you can see, I have check mark. But if you don't have it, it should show an X mark. So once it's done installing, you should then be able to click this action start. This will boot up Apache and MySQL. So I'll just hit start for both modules. And as you can see, it started running. After it's done, you can just navigate back to your browser. And right here, I'll just type localhost. I'll just get rid of WordPress because I've been developing WordPress. So I'll just type localhost. And that should give you the following welcome page. The next video will take a look at the text editors that we can use to start writing PHP codes.